Hi, it's Dan Bullard, retired electronics engineer. I'm on the front, take my house, but again, uh, really quick. Claire B is coming, but I don't have time to wait for them. They're right up here, but they'll they'll be here in a few minutes. But I'll be off the air by then. I wanted to show you this guy who's been giving me all this grief on my uh, Bullard versus Feynman video. He has he's got a channel with two videos and. The longest one I think is on his persimmon tree, and he's got another one in Cyrillic. So he's a Russian. He's some kind of Russian guy. The Russians don't know shit. I mean, this guy clearly doesn't know anything. His comment uh, telling me that you can't digitize random noise, he doesn't know how coherent sampling works. He doesn't know. Coherent sampling doesn't mean capturing stuff like on a scope. You never do that. That's non-coherent sampling. You don't capture some external signal and hope for the best. You know, what you do is you generate a waveform either with analog, like with an AWG, arbitrary waveform generator, or you generate it with digital. You generate a digital waveform and then send it to an analog part, or you send an analog waveform and it digitizes it. So you can send either a digital waveform and have it captured, have the analog captured, or you can send an analog waveform and have it digitized by the part and capture the digital and then do DSP on it. The digital and the analog have to be not synchronous, but they have to have coherent clocks. So the clock generation scheme between the digital and the analog has to be linked. That's an important thing. Um, if you don't have that, you don't have a mixed signal tester. And that's the kind of stuff I've worked on. Yeah, I can hear Claire B out there. So this guy has no business talking about this stuff. He doesn't know a thing, not a thing. He's just a loudmouth Russian. So once again from the river, this is Dan Bullard. See ya.